let's learn how to convert a document from RGB to CMYK in Photoshop without flattening the image in this super simple tutorial. So on the screen I have an RGB Photoshop file open. So resist the urge to go to image mode and switch to CMYK, which in older versions would flatten the image and also put default settings on the document and instead go to edit, convert to profile. You have many options to choose from here, and this is going to depend on your printer specifications, but for a general rule of thumb, you can keep things to work in CMYK. Under your conversion options, you can keep the engine to Adobe. Adobe's conversion engine is good enough, and set your intent to relative color metric. Again, this is a good default option to pick. If you keep black point compensation on, this will try to make black and darker colors in your template as dark as possible, because remember, RGB and CMYK black are different, so this is a good set to keep on. Also keep the dither on. This will make your colors look more seamless on the document. But what you can do is turn off the flatten image and that way you can keep all your layers and editing capabilities. So when you're ready, click OK. If you've got things like smart objects in the document and you want to keep them, select don't rasterize. But remember, this might affect the chosen color when it comes to print. So bear this in mind. And from there, then your document will have converted to CMYK and you've kept all your properties and all your layers that are still editable. Remember, the colors on screen will look different because there are millions of web colors, but there aren't as many print colors. So Photoshop will do its best to match the CMYK color to the RGB, but you're never going to get an exact match as to what you see on screen. So bear that in mind. So there you have it. It's that simple to convert a document from RGB to CMYK in Photoshop without the need of flattening the image and to give you some more options to work with. So I hope you found that tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing and I'll see you for the next tutorial.